pack or not standard packaging, but a standard Reese's, but it has gold packaging. But I'm curious if there's any difference. Mm -hmm. And these are the gold eggs. Gold. So are they supposed to be different than the regular eggs? I don't know. You don't know. I can tell you this though, they're gold. Oh, and they're tiny. <laughs> Yeah, they're smaller. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they're so they're flat on the bottom with like the hmm. egg shape, whereas the other eggs are a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. And I'm probably gonna say that they're softer, and uh, you know because the ratios with the chocolate yeah. and the peanut butter. It's all, I like the ratio of the special holiday things like the eggs yeah. and the Christmas trees, trees, the pumpkins, mm, yeah. the eggs. They all have really good. It's like softer. Mm -hmm. These ones seem, I think, firmer though, right? Yeah. I mean, the, the, the chocolate wall is thicker. And I feel so like... the chocolate ratio is probably higher. Yeah. It's almost like more of a cup. Yeah, I was going to say, I think this is just a cup rebranded as an egg. Like, <laughs> exactly this. Like, even the wrap, like, everything's just a rebranded cup. So it's basically the Easter version of the cup. Yeah. Yeah. So exactly. if you like the cups, but you want to get festive, <laughs> that's your ticket right there. Still Can't good, go though. Can't go wrong. I also think that because these are new, they taste super fresh. Mm. Yeah. There's no question how long they're, it's yeah. been sitting on the shelf. It's not like when you go to those like backwoods gas stations and you get yeah. a Reese's and you're like, how old is this? Why is it? When you, I didn't know I bought a white one. Yeah. When you bite into it and all the peanut butter just like crumbles out and you're like, oh, I know this like, is oh, so man. old. Mm -hmm. There was a one time I remember I got a Abba Zabba. From oh, you know that station. was old. Yeah, oh, I ate, I <laughs> ate it, and done with it, and then looked at the package, and it was expired for like two years. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, like well, that was like when we huge um, <laughs> when we went snowboarding, and we were renting at the the whatever on base, mm -hmm. and Chris got cookies from the vending machine. And like I was like, oh, give me one of those, and he was <laughs> like, you know, not reluctant, not like you know, forget you, get your own whatever. And yeah. He gave me one, and I was like. Oh, you got like oatmeal raisin cookies? Gross. <laughs> but it was a chocolate chip cookie, but it had mold on the back. Oh my God. He let me eat it because he didn't want to be the only one who ate it. I remember that. Oh man. I remember that. So we're good friends. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've had stuff that it was expired and I was like disappointed in their quality control because I'm like, how did this slip past the regulators? Shit is expired as hell. <laughs> Because I know, like, a lot of those places, like, especially, like, smaller places that don't have the inventory control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know a lot of those, like, Fifth Avenue bars, the ones that don't have, like, a high turnover. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. them are yeah. old, especially, like, in the back. <laughs> it's always a gamble. For whatever reason, I think because of Peeps and the Peeps with the uh, Easter theme, like, little chickens, because they that's when they get born. And then the marshmallow, and they just throw a marshmallow on everything. Mm -hmm. They're like, what's it about? Marshmallow. Just toss yeah. it in there. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to try these. Never had these. You had these? No. Nope. Never had them. I'm not much. I all my most of my snackage comes from this right now. here. Like yeah, I don't. You know, I don't Me eat too. snacks. I don't eat anything for the first time unless it's on here. <laughs> so um, yeah, we got. So <clears throat> they look like white chocolate on the top. That's what I'm worried about. Um, I don't. Do you like the white chocolate ones? No. Yeah, I don't like the white chocolate ones. Do you like the white chocolate? I ones? like white chocolate. Well, so I have a love hate thing about white chocolate. I don't know what it is. Like, or see something white chocolate, like oh man, I gotta have that. And then I'll eat it and be like, why did I buy this? <laughs> so I'm not sure how I feel about white chocolate. I think sometimes. white chocolate and peanut butter is not very good, but <laughs> mm -hmm. white chocolate and like the cookie, like the Hershey's yeah. cookie. Well, like, one, that's those are that's good. my thing. I love, I love, I'm like, oh, I gotta go get that. And yeah, then I get it. Good. And then like halfway through, I'm like, I don't know why I bought yeah. this. All right, let's see what's up with this uh, marshmallow top. So I mean, like smelling it, it's something different. <laughs> yeah, it definitely like. smells oh, different. It just, it's just straight up marshmallow. Uh -huh. Yeah, like a peanut just, butter marshmallow. Like, yeah, I take you got my two hyped up butter. already. Like, it just has that marshmallow flavor. It's kind of good. Yeah, like it's like it does have like a. They did the marshmallow flavor really well. Yeah, like super good marshmallow flavor. Yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> I, was, I mean, but then again, I, I came in with pretty low expectations, thinking like, oh, they just slapped some white chocolate on there. <laughs> <Try to laughs> I said it. it was marshmallow. <laughs> gonna do the oh, packaging is gonna affect your taste, yada yada. But no. It's a really good marshmallow Legit flavor. Marshmallow. Yeah, Legit good marshmallow I think flavor. This would be good, like because of, because there's so many Easter things that are marshmallow. I was thinking that it's kind of like doing like a room temperature s'more kind of job. 
Because you could sandwich this between graham cracker and it would be like a Reese's s'mores. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you don't have to have a fire or microwave or whatever. No. So if you, there's a power outage maybe and you don't want a carbon <laughs> dioxide, you know, issue. Boom. You're in the middle of a power outage and you're desperately craving s'mores. Let's <laughs> get the job done. Yeah. I think it was pretty good. I don't know if it has enough. Um, I think these are probably better for them to just keep seasonally. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. like eggnog. If they have it out all the time, mm -hmm. it's not gonna. It's not sustainable. Yeah. But if these are like an Easter only thing, I could see maybe doing one of these a year. Oh yeah. Just do that throwback, like oh, yeah. oh, I'm getting like, marshmallow. Oh, I remember this is so those. good. <laughs> or when it's the day after Easter and they're like ten cents, for like fifty of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably grab some. Yeah. Probably grab some up you at that point. Put them in your in your power outage kit. Yeah, because Easter is the new Halloween as far as like. Mm. There's so much candy, mm -hmm. yeah. so much candy, and yeah. then the day after is just like hog heaven, just like <laughs> going in there and getting everything. Because there's a lot of things that are literally the same pack, the same exact product with a different Easter packaging, and they're like, yeah. "Well, we gotta get rid of it." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or they stash in the back for next year, and yeah. it's old as hell. Yeah, your dry Reese's. Yeah. The carrots. I seen these around on Instagram. I saw them in the store, and I had to get them, and we I had to try them. I've seen other carrots before but like but, the, but not like this so i feel like this is going to be the same thing with the egg like it's just going to be a repackaged be... but i remember there's there's carrots but it's like the trees like how it's i feel like snickers always does a a, a theme thing or a, a shaped okay, thing maybe that they'll what always do eggs so and they're santa clauses like the smaller ones though yeah. and it's probably going to have like a thicker chocolate wall yeah. probably I think with all the amount of Reese's stuff that's out for Easter now, you could build like a straight Reese's themed basket, like Easter oh, basket. Yeah. Mm, yeah. An Easter basket, because we have another Reese's thing that I've never seen that's new. I'm excited. Most <laughs> excited for that one. That's why we save the best for last. Mm. Sure. The first thing I notice, and this is usually a good sign, I think, is that it's kind of like has that peanut buttery, oily <laughs> coating, because that means it's fresh yeah. enough. Mm. I think, like, when it comes to the ratio of chocolate and peanut butter, it's like what what's your what's like the best structure in mm -hmm. which to deliver that but also it's just like the fun factor mm -hmm. it's like shapes you know because yeah. if lucky charms is all the same shape then it's not as fun right mm. you know what i mean age depending <laughs> yeah well, i'm just saying like yeah. they're I get like what you're saying. oh yeah, it's yeah. shapes i'm having yeah. fun you know? yeah. and, like, yeah. and that's what this is now i don't even see them i just wolf them down just slam them down mm -hmm. slam them in that one had a lot more chocolate than the egg. Yeah. So but this, once, once again, I think I, it's just a reshaped Reese's peanut butter cup, I feel. Mm. I think it tastes a little bit different. Just a little bit. But, agreed. But it does have a lot more chocolate in it. Yeah. So if you're more on the chocolate <clears throat> side and you just mm. like a little bit of peanut butter, the carrots are your, your go-to. If you yeah. like a little bit more peanut butter, peanut butter you like go with the eggs. eggs. Mm -hmm. But if you like a lot more peanut butter, you got to get like the the traditional Reese's egg thing. Yeah, yeah. the big one. Mm -hmm. There's one that's like softer looking. Softer. Is it an egg? Because there's the trees, there's the pumpkins, and then is it an egg? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's an egg. People who know Reese's, yeah. they know what it is. <laughs> it's an egg, but it's not like the one we just had where it's flat on one side and concave. It's more of like a. You're talking about the Cadbury cream egg, egg, right? No, no, no. Oh, no, oh there's no. a Reese's. Yeah, there's a Reese's. Though. Yeah, there's the Reese's. Peanut butter egg that's like a Cadbury well, cream egg. But. There's one, there's another one though that's like, so you know how they have the pumpkin and the tree? Mm -hmm. There's one yeah, that's like that yeah. and oh, it's an okay. egg and it's like way softer. I think, I, okay, and there's yeah. like tons of peanut butter. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's like now. maximum yeah. peanut butter. I was thinking of, for some reason, I was just thinking about that Cadbury that Cadbury one because me and Carl had one a while mm -hmm. back because I, I have a thing for Cadbury cream eggs and there was just the Reese's ones next to it. And they were supposed to be for this, but then, you know, like, I took my hiatus, and then I ate all our snacks. <laughs> <laughs> just went hard. Yeah, I would always... Cadbury cream eggs are another one of those things where, because they only come out during Easter, yeah, it's like, I'll get one. Yeah. And then they use the same commercial for, like, 40 years or whatever. <laughs> yeah. It was always the same yeah, one. the same one. And it still worked, so people, they went for it. Which is... <clears throat> Reese's clusters. clusters. So this one says creamy peanut butter, caramel, peanuts, peanuts and pecans. So it has peanuts mm -hmm. and pecans wrapped in milk chocolate. And so this one I think might taste 
slightly different. Yeah, I mean, it has, I've never seen it before. I've never tried them. It, it so. has the caramel in it, which, like I've always said, my favorite Reese's <laughs> in the world was Reese's caramels. Well, there you go. This is about to get. But to get I blown. also hate peanuts and almonds. So these are pecans. Yeah, yeah. pecans. Pecans or pecans. Pecans. You say pecans. pecans. I say pecans. Say pecans. Wrap it. All right. I mean, pecans are probably my favorite nut. Really? really? Yeah. So that's my, what they look like unwrapped. I didn't really. I was pecans were probably like more of like a bush league nut for me. <laughs> but I had the Sahali uh, pecan like mix, and I forgot what they used to like spice it up. But I was like, pecans are good. They like <laughs> made me like pecans. As I grow older, I had more appreciation for like. Peanuts, like peanut M and M's. That's how I knew I was grown up. I <laughs> peanut M and M's better. Yeah, yeah. And then when they had those uh, blue diamond, blue rimmed almonds, and they do like wasabi yeah. and stuff, I was like, okay, almonds can be cool. <laughs> and then um, honey nut, or sorry, Fisher's honey roasted cashews. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, cashews, man, they're really good. <laughs> but as a kid, I didn't even want them on my Sunday. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you want chopped up peanuts? I was like, no. I don't want that on there. <laughs> get in the way. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Getting back track, getting yeah. sidetracked. Yeah. Let's get to the cluster. It's pretty good. Mm. Even though I hate both of the nuts that are in there, it's pretty good. So, there's only nut I like are pistachios. Right, that's oh, it. yeah. I like pistachios since I was a yeah. kid, though. Yeah. I just that like was like the only one I liked. <laughs> so, I guess I'm still just stuck in the kid mode for nuts because yeah, I grew like, up. I gotta grow up, like get your nut game mature. So the mm -hmm. East Coast has this obsession with boiled peanuts. Oh, okay. And it's like the worst thing I've ever eaten in my life. Mm -hmm. I've eaten three sets of boiled peanuts that people were like, "This is the best boiled peanuts you can get on the East Coast." And I was like, "Well, these are the worst boiled peanuts I've ever eaten in my life." Like they're just not good. And some random dude is selling boiled peanuts up in Seattle now. We went up to this uh, place in Seattle uh, to get some good uh, seafood called Crawfish House. And he has like a blow peanut stand right next door. And Jamie was all excited because she's an East Coaster. She was all excited about these boiled peanuts. <laughs> and I was like, disgusting. <laughs> it's the worst thing I've ever eaten in my life. Well, Carl, what did you think of the Reese's Clusters? Oh, you look so disappointed. I feel like there would be... <laughs> like, I, I wouldn't be able to tell there was pecans in it. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. I can't tell there's any nuts in it. I was going to say, yeah. pecans, hello. <laughs> hello, <laughs> yeah, pecans. Yeah. Are you there? I think I'd rather have like a turtle... You know, right, the traditional a proper yeah. pecan representation, and then and a Reese's egg. Mm -hmm. Usually, I don't like Reese's. Like, I have to have if I have a Reese's peanut butter with caramel, mm -hmm. I have to have a, like a texture backup, right. and that's why the take five is like the number one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if this had more pecans, where the pecans I could really taste yeah. them, I think it would probably be pretty good. Oh yeah, but I think without having the pecan represented as well. I would probably say that I would just go with the take five or I go with a regular Reese's format because the caramel makes it like too sweet mm -hmm. without having mm -hmm. something savory. And I'll say that the caramel like viscosity level is more than a Rolo, but not as much as a Caramello. Mm -hmm. Right? It's kind of right. like in the yeah. middle. Yeah. Because yeah. when I bit into it, it was like melted cheese sort of like yeah. it had that stretch, <laughs> but it wasn't as drippy as Caramello. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So it's kind of like middle of the road there. So I have to say, though, I thought it was amazing. You really liked it? Yeah, I really liked it. I think it's So you don't I, like pecans, but because but pecans because I couldn't taste weren't it. in there. <laughs> I was like, yo, this is delicious. <laughs> like, I couldn't taste any of the nuts. And like I said, favorite thing in the world is caramel Reese's. I'm assuming it's probably the same so, caramel type thing going on. Because I haven't had them in forever. Because they right. were out of I think they were like whatever. discontinued. Yeah, super long time So ago. you found... But I found what I would eat now if I were What you're like, looking yo, for. Yeah. The super sweet. As long as it wasn't like a... Oh hey, here's this all these nuts from that suddenly are more in this one. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what you're saying is that if pecans were like dog medication, this would be the perfect thing because it's yeah. like hidden in there. And you would just be like wolfing them down. <laughs> They're like, here. you need to eat pecans to save your life. I would just eat all these and be like, oh, I can't taste these pecans. pecans. These are awesome. <laughs> okay. Well that's good to know.